capes and courage. Taking dress up to a whole new level to show children they truly are superheroes in the middle of a crisis. This will be difficult, but I can face it. Tonight, News 5 anchor Mike Brookbank with ways struggling parents can tackle the ever-present anxiety that comes with living in a pandemic. We've had record number of phone calls from parents. From behavioral issues. Kindergartners throwing their Chromebooks against the wall. To crippling fear. Worried about wearing a mask. Moms and dads are turning to connecting for kids for help. Parents are really struggling in Northeast Ohio. The Parent Education and Support Group. 70% of our parents are worried about their own mental health. Links families to psychiatrists like Kate Brandon. It's uh, not nearly as scary or as intimidating. Who says anxiety is not something to avoid. It alerts us that something is important. Um, it can help us be more focused and attentive to that. She encourages children to harness that energy to solve problems. Channeling that anxiety in a more positive direction um, can then help the kid feel empowered. It's the approach Michelle Sokol takes with her five children. Their needs are never ending. During this uneasy time. I know a lot of people are going to be struggling. She's approaching the anxiety that surfaces in her home head on. I'm a problem solver. We like to pride ourselves on our positive problem solving. It's been really neat to kind of let go and to see how they are blooming from this as well. Sokol tells me she now also allows what was once frowned upon. Jumping on the couch, on the bed. To help make up for her children's lost activities and peer interaction. I say bless this mess because my house is not clean. We are a museum of the living. To help tackle their emotions, Kate Brandon reminds children their thoughts are not facts and they shouldn't get attached to them. Sometimes we have kids imagine their thoughts are like clouds floating by. There's a thought, there it goes. Or that their thoughts are like bubbles. Um, I can pop that one. As this pandemic rages on, parents should trust their instincts and don't hesitate to connect their children with the resources that can help. It can be really important to making sure that they do transition and they can handle um, everything that's going on. Reporting in Berea, Mike Brookbank, News 5.